In many studies, it's been shown that the patients who have a complete eradication of the tumor from treatment in the neoadjuvant setting do better than patients who do not. Um, and so one of the real questions is, can you begin to use uh, complete pathologic response as a surrogate endpoint for approving new drugs or establishing new standards of care? Um, to date, it's been hard to do that, in part because uh, the difference in uh, complete pathologic response, the shift there, um, is pretty big in many instances, but it has not translated in prospective studies into major gains in DFS or disease-free survival. So that's where really the pairing of the NEO-ALTO and the ALTO trials looms as an important comparator. And I think if the findings in NEO-ALTO uh, are robust and proven in ALTO, that is that you can get a stepwise improvement in complete response and that that translates into a major improvement in disease-free survival, that would be a real coup. I think there's reason to think it might work in some groups of patients, particularly the HER2-positive ER-negative cancers. In HER2-positive ER-positive cancers, other work from other investigators has suggested that regardless of the complete pathologic response rate, the outcomes are the same. So it may be of, of less clear significance in that group, which is about half of HER2-positive cancers.